Hello everyone, in this video, I'd like to discuss 4 side hustles that are practical and feasible. These are side hustles that I would personally consider, and they have the potential to earn you up to $800 per day. I often come across lists on YouTube and Reddit that claim to offer the best side hustles for earning extra cash. However, upon examining them, I usually find that I wouldn't pursue any of those options. I'm not interested in transcribing videos into text or participating in surveys that pay less than $10 per hour. Balancing a full-time job makes it difficult to dedicate all of our time to other endeavors. The first side hustle I would recommend is drone photography or videography. A common challenge faced by real estate agents is making their listings stand out in a crowded market. Nowadays, real estate professionals are becoming more creative in their marketing strategies. One aspect that can greatly enhance their listings is the use of aerial photos and videos of the properties. However, many realtors lack the knowledge and skills to acquire such visuals. This is where you can step in with your drone expertise. By offering aerial photography and videography services, you can provide real estate agents with a valuable advantage in showcasing their properties. If you already own a drone, that's great. However, if you don't, you may need to invest around $400 to purchase one specifically for this side hustle. Once you have the drone, you can approach real estate professionals and propose to capture aerial photos and high-quality videos for their property listings. This will significantly enhance their marketing materials. The remarkable thing about this side hustle is that you can charge a substantial amount for your services. Typically, the prevailing rate for a 60-second video along with 10 to 15 images is around $350 to $400. This implies that by conducting two half-day shoots, you can potentially earn over $800 per day by providing drone photography and videography services to real estate professionals. If you're concerned about securing jobs like the one mentioned earlier, there's another opportunity to earn money with your drone. You can sell your footage as stock photos or stock videos. There are several platforms, like Shutterstock, Getty Images, Dronestock, and Storyblocks, where you can upload your drone footage. Every time someone uses your content, you earn a commission. You can capture footage of landmarks near you, capture stunning time-lapse shots of the sunset on the beach, or take some nature or urban shots. The next side hustle is writing an email newsletter. If you have a passion for a particular topic that you deeply care about or want to share knowledge on, one option is to create a newsletter on platforms like Substack or Beehive, which are quite popular among many users. This is an excellent way to embark on a side hustle while simultaneously growing an audience. In the past, I used to believe that having an email list was a prerequisite for starting a newsletter. However, you can actually begin with zero subscribers and provide free content initially. As you consistently produce valuable content, you can attract subscribers and build your audience over time. Most Substack emails and articles should be offered for free. Your free content plays a crucial role in building your audience. Once your audience develops a deep connection with your content, they will willingly pay to access an additional 10% of your work. Sometimes, people are willing to pay for the sheer convenience of having all their content in one place. To begin a Substack newsletter, you should select a topic that ignites your passion or on which you possess more knowledge than the average person. In addition, you can distill the same content into a Twitter thread, allowing you to reach a wider audience organically. Transitioning from a free newsletter to a paid version can be challenging but requires consistency. Providing value on the free side while brainstorming additional value for paid subscribers is crucial. I spoke to a friend who successfully implemented this strategy. In the early stages, he made $300 in the first month, which gradually grew to $1,200, $3,000, and now he generates between seven and $8,000 on Substack. Building a successful paid newsletter takes time and effort, but there's potential for growth and financial success. The third side hustle is YouTube tutorial videos. Lately, faceless YouTube channels have gained significant popularity. But what exactly is a faceless channel, and how does it differ from other side hustles? A faceless channel refers to a YouTube channel where the creator's identity remains hidden and videos are primarily based on voiceovers. Faceless channels have been trending because they offer automation possibilities. You can hire a scriptwriter, a voice actor, and an editor, allowing you to operate the channel without being its visible face. Creating a faceless channel is no easy feat it requires skills in video production and finding a niche where you have expertise. Standing out can be challenging in this space. 
However, in my opinion, there is a highly underrated side hustle on YouTube that surpasses faceless channels. It involves creating tutorial videos with full screen recordings demonstrating how to use specific websites, software, or fill out various forms. This approach can provide valuable guidance to viewers and has great potential for success. If you search for how to use Shopify on YouTube, you'll find numerous tutorial videos demonstrating step-by-step -step instructions. You can replicate one of these tutorials without necessarily showing your face, making it optional. What makes this side hustle particularly lucrative on YouTube is that you don't need a massive number of views to generate income. The RPMs or CPMs, or rate paid per thousand views, for website tutorials tend to be significantly higher than other content categories. For example, while a cooking video may earn you $5 per thousand views, a website tutorial, dropshipping tutorial, or Amazon FBA tutorial can earn you between $50 and $300 per thousand views. This may sound unbelievable, but advertisers in these niches have bigger budgets. Therefore, if the rate is $50 per thousand views, your tutorial video only needs around 5,000 views to make $250. Let's perform a search on YouTube for Shopify website tutorial and apply the filter to videos uploaded this month. We can observe that many of these videos have already accumulated over 10,000 views. To pursue this side hustle, it would be beneficial to familiarize oneself with a specific website platform like Shopify or Squarespace. This side hustle is so promising that I've even contemplated starting my own channel to capitalize on it. I encourage you to give it a try and see the potential for yourself. The last side hustle is online digital templates. The online digital template market is experiencing tremendous growth, presenting an opportunity to earn substantial income. Selling well-designed digital templates can yield anywhere from $100 to $300 per day. What makes this side hustle particularly attractive is the absence of goods costs. Your time is the primary investment. With each sale of a digital template, there are no additional expenses for replication, resulting in a 100% profit margin. I've personally heard from friends who have purchased digital planners on platforms like Etsy, where a quick search reveals numerous listings with tens of thousands of reviews and sales. To delve deeper into the revenue potential of this side hustle, I conducted further research. By using a Chrome extension called Everbee and visiting Etsy, I was able to examine the earnings of different listings in the digital planner category over the past 30 days. Remarkably, many listings are generating more than $10,000 per month. Additionally, I discovered that over 60 listings are bringing in at least $4,200 per month, equating to a minimum of $140 per day. So these are the four side hustles that you can do and that have the potential to grow in the years to come. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video, and have a great day! See you soon!